Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode here on FM Radio as we play Hollow Knights, my favorite game ever! Anyways, we had just finished explaining about um, how the maps work in this game. Essentially, Cornifer goes down below and he does like a rough outline of everything, but only small sections. So the rest is for us to explore and essentially define and figure out any nook and crannies. So we're just going to go ahead and um, go along. I don't have enough money for one of the little, um, essentially, like... Uh, one of the pins that he has available for to purchase and I'm hoping I can go ahead and gather up enough money while exploring um, the caves Ooh, dang I didn't think that would get me so soon okay oh that was nice and I think I have to go up here so we'll go this way So this place is the weird thing we saw on the map with like the horns popping up. And this is the Temple of the Black Egg. Nah, me no Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong look to you. Am I saying that right? Oh well, I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom and this egg, and this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. He's very true. And if you notice, like, there's always, like, a trend to all the people that we end up meeting. They're here for adventure, and they love going through uncharted areas. Just like um, Cornifer, how he said that he's always had, like, um, a passion for crawling away. For so long, I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. The dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are all riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick and I wonder what could have brought it all about. Nah, me no to preserve, to persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't do be enough. Oh, though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind it where a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. Oh, dang, okay. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Nah, me no Did you pass the town above? What a gloomy little place. <laughs> and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? That's hmm. true. And then that's the last part that using at the end of everything that we talk with him, he's going to be a character very important throughout our travels and adventures throughout um, essentially the kingdom. He'll always go, hmm, when he's done talking to you. And he's just essentially like, yes, shoo, please. <laughs> um, but um, in, I remember when we first started this game, there was like a cutscene where we saw like the skull of a mask suddenly turn orange. And he was talking about why the, the kingdom suddenly sprung to life. Well, that's because of that. It was like that person that was all changed up, chained up, like coming to life or some kind of... Because if you look directly in their eyes, it's glowing orange. Just like the person in chains who had just like almost like woken up as it screamed, you know? Which makes it kind of spooky if you think about it carefully. But it was it's a very interesting thought to think about. Um, let's head down here before we go up there just because I want to make sure I explore this area and what's through here oh this is an area that we don't have access to as of right now I mean we have access to it but we're not quite there yet because I haven't explored everything and I'm not about to leave an area unexplored just to go somewhere else right now I'm gonna make sure to find all the nook and crannies of this area Let's get going. 
Oh, that's right. This place was locked off. So maybe there's like a... Oh. <laughs> maybe there's like another way around. Get up! There we go. I'm still trying to le learn how to use the stupid buttons on here. Um... I do know that people ha which were recommending that it is better to play with a controller. Um, albeit I am playing this on PC, but they just do recommend controller better just because the controllers tend to be a little wonky, at least the section. But I'm just here gonna fix up like whichever, like what I can, and, like to my preferences, and let's see how that goes. Because it doesn't seem to be going too bad, but I also have like a specific preference of like where things are because I had always played it with like a controller. So it'll be interesting. That and I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a controller right now because, you know, I don't have one right now. <laughs> I mean, y'all are more welcome than to let me know, like, how much it costs, how, um... Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> um, and, like, how affordable it would be, but I just... I don't know, with the pandemic going on, I'm, like, I'm kind of lazy to go out. Oh, crap. <laughs> to go out and um what is that wait go back excuse me i was walking there damn it <laughs> i can never get through there on guard young thingy yep i'm not gonna make it Whatever. Okay, I'll give up for right now. We'll come back to that. We just can't forget about it. And then Cornifer is still there. Uh, I think we already went through the way that I had seen with him there. What's through here? Holy crap! Look at all this geo! Can you believe people are just like leaving this lying around? I also can't jump up very well. <laughs> Still, like, trying to learn this. <laughs> oh, please don't fall. Oh, crap. No! <sighs> okay. That wasn't too bad. Is there another one? Oh, no. What is these? <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <sighs> okay. Is there any more? No, okay. Oh god, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Like, oh my god, it totally pulled me in there, like, unsuspecting. Like, just like a random, I guess, like, kind of like a mini mid-level boss or something. I'm not exactly sure what to call it, but oh. What the heck? I thought we were getting the little pile of geo, and instead we found this little precious gem. This is so cool. Um... I don't want to fall yet because I did drop like a butt ton of money this way. Okay, there we go. Did I pick up everything? Uh, I don't want to be fickle. I mean, I'm trying not to be like more fickle with my money. Just because um, it can be a hassle to collect it in the beginning. And I do want to be able to save up enough. Um, so that way I can buy that pin that I need. Oh, this is... So this these are the beautiful hot springs they're so gorgeous they help heal up your hp they also fill you up with soul so if i wasn't full of soul right at that moment i would um i would be able to fill that up just by like say, sitting in the hot springs and i thought that would be so nice um in the meantime now that we know where it is at least here in the map oh crap don't look at me <laughs> We're gonna keep going. What is that sound? I remember, I don't know, it sounds kind of like it's gr like grating on my ears and it's like almost kind of annoying. Um, it's kind of like as if you were to hear like glass. I can't reach that. I'm trying to, and I think it's just an area we're not gonna have access to because it looks like even if we went up there, it'd be closed off to us. So I can't even go there. But let's get, let's at least keep moving forward. Ah! No! No! Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, let's keep going. Moving forward. Damn it. Okay, for money. 
Whoa, hey fool. Well, at least he kind of just like keeps it one place. Oh, uh, I don't think there was much else for me to explore. Uh, we're so close to like 220 right now. I want to like keep going so that way I can meet that goal. But it looks like we're just getting deeper and deeper into what is this area. Forgotten Crossroads, I think it was called. Let me check. Yeah, Forgotten Crossroads. Um, I still don't know where the heck we are. Um, is this like an area? No. Oh, I thought it was. Because it looked like the, it was like the cave of a mouth. I mean, the mouth of a cave. <laughs> that made like literally... Ah! No sense. Dang, those guys are quicker than I thought they would be. Like, they definitely pulled a quick one on me there. Talk about rude. Let me pass her. <laughs> well, I guess... What happens if we go through here? Oh. I don't like this. Let's heal up just in case. Because I'm not the most nimble thing. Especially playing on like this. I don't think there's anything else for us to discover at this point through that area. Um, there's a sign here, so that's a good sign. Hey, <laughs> funny. Okay, I don't even know if that was funny at all. Uh, what's down here, though, before I go anywhere? Oh, no! I've been caught. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. At least these guys have like a button of geo on them. Oh, Jesus. And what are you? Okay, so let me heal up first. Okay, and then... And so these little statues, it looks like they have soul stored in them. Somehow. Hmm. Interesting. And um, it looks like we can use these as like little, I guess, like restore areas. Like, you know, like restoring our little bodies. Yes. What's in this direction? This is kind of spooking me. Well, I don't know. This is kind of just like flat. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't know. What is it? Can we... Uh oh, crap. Oh, crap. I totally regret that. Wait, is this like a boss? His name is Groots. 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 Mother. I don't know if that's a... Holy crap. Shoot. I really regret doing this now. Oh, my God. Let's heal. Let's heal. Oh, shoot. Holy crap. Oh my god. What's it doing? Ooh, I'll definitely take that. Oh, ew, ew, ew. What's it gonna... Wow, I did not see that coming. Um, let's go ahead and heal real quick, because these things are gonna kill me. And I guess that's the end of it. Wow, that's it's just it's just its body. It's gross. So they like what? Do they stay just casually inside it, or is it like just a group wearing like clothes? Like oh, wow! Well, I was not expecting that. Um. Oh, enter. Is there like another thing I can enter through here? No. Oh, what's this? No, nothing. Okay. Because, like, I totally saw myself disappear into- Hey! Okay, so that opens up that. I thought I was gonna get stuck here for a little. And then this said enter right here. Oh, oh, the hell? Oh, oh, oh. Oro, you oaf. You wield your nail like a club. Esme, how much deeper do we have oh. to go? Oh, oh, what? Who are you? <laughs> I see. This old village, what a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live in an, un an uneventful life up in dirt mouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. 
Well, that's really sweet. You're exploring then, very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail though, and I can tell by just by looking that you know how to wield it. I like his eyes. He's such a cute little bug. Oh, never mind. Then he's just gonna say the same thing. Okay, in that case, um, I guess we'll leave you be, Mr. Bug Dude. <laughs> he kind of has the cutest little eyes you've ever seen. Whoa! Can we not get up there? No, I don't think so. Yep. What's up with the laughing though? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Uh oh. Let's keep going and let's figure out where these go. I would like to know. Oh, great. There we go. Oh my god. You're giant. You're pooping stuff. That was kind of disgusting. Look, twins! Oh. Okay. Yep. Maybe I should have gone about that a little smarter. Just a little. What's this? A door with an open slot. Okay, so these are the rumored tram rails. They're what's left of, like, the ancient... Ooh, hello! They're, they're what's left of, like, the ancient kingdom. And I think that's about it. Um, there's no other way to go through here. Although it kind of looks like it, but no. But isn't it beautiful? Like, isn't the design really intricate on this? Like, wow. And for a civilization to be able to come up with tramways suddenly just disappear or like, um, I guess, fall into ruins is kind of interesting to think about. So. Anyways, let's make sure I got all the money, cause money is gonna be a little tough. Oh, I have more than enough to go buy the thing from Iselda. You know what? I think I'm gonna go and buy that. Oh, dang it! There's another one. Oh, wait! I wasn't ready. What's this? Oh my god! <laughs> Let's just leave. I'm not about to deal with that. The thing's pooping out stuff, but I can't seem to find it. Wow, that looks kind of scary, actually. Oh! The baby! How can I get a- oh, Actually, I probably shouldn't. Oh, no. Yep. Here goes nothing. God. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Oh god. Get just get a hold of yourself. Stop being scared. Oh god. So I always sucked at this to begin with. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, we're leaving. There's no way I'm gonna get that little cute baby. Maybe if we run, we won't have to deal with this dude. Of course I'm running the wrong way. So let's get out of here. Let's just go. Let's see if we can make it back to the... The hot springs. Let's go and dip our feet and everything in that nice hot water. Because I clearly cannot fight. <laughs> I can't... Do the jumping thing. Holy crap. We're going the other way. Run. Nope. What's this? Hey, a bench. So we updated our map. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure where we are. <laughs> What's this? Inspect. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert geo. We're gonna hit yes because the stag is pretty darn important for getting around um, hollow nest. Good 
Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depth, depth all hollowness. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform, and I will take you where you need to go. Well, thank you, my good friend. Oh, it was long a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulse with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet I still remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. Huh. So let's get to Dirt Mouth. Oh! Stop. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. That's cool. So I guess it's like a two-seater. I mean, it looks like it can fit more than two people, but that's about it. Cool! It's like their own little elevator. Oh, crap. I remember seeing these switches. That opens the door. And we're back in Dirt Mouth. Uh, yes! Oops. Okay, now that we've at least saved our game to where we are right there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and back in here. <sighs> Bafanada. Bafanada. <laughs> She's so bored. I wonder, like... I wonder how she met him. Equip a charm and to activate its powerful abilities. So it looks like we have to equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Yes, I can indeed. Oh, to equip charm, open the charms menu while resting Q. Press Q. Great. So notches. Oh, so there's like this. So the cost is that little circle, circle, circle thingy right above where it says underneath wayward compass. Cost is one little thingy, and those are called notches. Those little glowing thingies you'll see where we have our equipped. Um, I guess charm right there underneath it'll say notches so those are like a limited amount of notches that we can use so um, each charm will essentially have its own cost of notches and that's kind of like space on our I guess in our cloak that we have to be able to have to carry them on while being able to use them directly at the same time whereas the where we see all these other empty spaces underneath the line those are just going to be like inventory for all of our the charms that we're going to be collecting. Which, I have a lot of fun with these charms because they're so adorable. They're so unique in their own way. Um, let's take a look where we are map-wise. Um, map-wise, we've explored quite a bit. But there's an area right above here that I haven't gone to just yet. And I kind of want to go ahead and take a peek at what exactly is over there. So now that we've explored it, oh, actually, I forgot to tell y'all. So you see on the crossword on the the maps, we shows our little skull pulsating. That's us saying that we're alive, and that's what happens when you put on the wayward compass. It essentially just tells you, hey, you're here. Whereas before, like we didn't have anything, and like it can sometimes be hard to navigate without it. I personally love getting it, and that tends to be my main focus when I first like. Um, start playing is um like if i start a new game or something like that my first focus is making sure i can get one of those wayward compasses like from the get-go because it really saves you a lot of time like um to avoid running around and everything because no one wants to run around like a headless chicken with like with no sense of direction Let's go ahead and go through. Gather all this geo because we will be needing it later to buy some more stuff. Jesus Lord. I like like how like no matter how many times we go through here, that will still always happen. So this is the area on our map where we haven't gone through. And as you can see, it's only been outlined slightly by Cornifer. So we'll go ahead and take a peek. What the hell is that? Holy crap! I don't think he likes me. Ah! 
Holy Jesus Lord. You just like took a chunk out of me. Oh Jesus Lord. Okay, at least we healed. Hi there. I don't like you. Stop! Why? Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Aw. So you know who's fighting with that? Hey, what's that sound? <gasps> Hello, baby! I know! Goodbye! And so each time we save one of those little, um, like, little grubs is what they're called. Um, the daddy caterpillar will be super happy because he's got one more little, uh, he has, he has at least one little grub caterpillar with him. Um, and throughout our adventures, um, they're gonna be hidden in little areas for whatever reason. I can't remember why at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it'll be explained later on down the road. Um... But I thought it was funny, the guy would just finish fighting right now, his, all of his, like, I guess his weapons are just hung up right there. Almost kind of like, um, you would see, like, katanas on, like, a, a sword rack. And that was kind of interesting to see. So we went ahead and explored that area, but there's also another area around here that I have not gone through. And it's down here. Not this one. I know this one, and not this one. Let's go down. Oh, that's right. This one's blocked off. I keep forgetting. Oh, I gotta stop forgetting that. So, hmm. I guess we'll head across this way. Go around the long way, and then we can go from there. Alrighty, everybody, now that we hit that stupid lever, we now have full access to this area. Well, not full access to this area, because we're still searching. But, uh, there's like a huge thing. There's like, somewhere. So, you know how we opened up that wall earlier? Or, I think it was in the first episode. We opened up that wall, and it looked like it was all crackly and everything. If we look carefully, um, we can probably find out, because there's a grub crying somewhere. And I think this is it right here. Oh, there would be. <laughs> Goodbye, little grub. Be free. And now that we have access to this area, we can definitely go into more obscure places now. I don't know what this is. Oh, what the heck? Because I do know. Oh my god, when did you guys get a sword? Okay, I'm not going to deal with that. What? There's more! Bye! I don't want to deal with that. That's annoying. I was not expecting that when I was coming through here. Oh no! There's that. Nope. At least now we know where it goes. Nope, nope, nope. Do not want to deal with that. And I'm not dealing with that either. What's in here? Oh. God, it cheated. It che well, I guess I was cheating too. <laughs> okay then. So let's go ahead and since we figured out what's there, and whenever you die, essentially your your soul or your yeah, I guess it is your soul. I think he's essentially it essentially got fractured from your body, and it's currently waiting for you where you last died. So it's that little black gloomy thing with white eyes. And it's just essentially saying, hey, I'm waiting for you to come back and pick me up. Um, I've got all the money. And so if we want our money back, we have to go get it. And then also at the same time, you can't die. I mean, if you can. I mean, not that you can't. But if you don't go back to pick up your money or um, your soul again, um, all your money will be gone if you die again. Like, um, 
because it essentially like a, a new piece of your soul gets fractured there it's not like if you do die like you like you lose a ton like but if you had like a butt ton of money and you just lost it because you <laughs> you um had died along the way well that's just not good you know okay attack <laughs> Okay, I thought he was gonna attack it. I did it! I did it! Woo! Good luck to me. What's through here? Yeah, I don't think I can make it through that. Even if I tried, I'm not, you see, I'm not gonna because that looks pretty darn tough. Every penny, li a little thing counts. Little thing of geo counts. It really does. Like, and if you f miss a piece of geo, like that's not too bad. You know, it's not like people are gonna be like, Aah! uh oh, oh god. Okay, so it looks like this is like an like a boss area place, and we will come back to this in another episode i'm afraid thank you all for joining me on today's episode here on fm radio go ahead and hit that like button subscribe leave a comment in about today's video and see and just let me know how it went you know other than that have a great one y'all and i hope to see you in the next one